This company is designing and building a system for converting spare electricity into stored heat, available when required on tap. It is stored in a giant battery, or even rows of them, similar to the ranks of massive electric batteries now being deployed. Here's another one of their heat batteries. And to be absolutely clear, this stores heat energy inside it, just like this is a battery that stores electrical energy inside it. But these are supersized, designed for industry, which currently gets nearly all its heat from polluting fossil fuels. These are our heat cells, so each one inside them we take renewable electricity and we heat the centre up to high temperatures, 500 degrees Celsius, and we keep the heat in there with the vacuum insulation which is around them, and then we can store it and we put them next to a factory, and when it wants heat we can produce steam on demand for whatever process they need. The electricity going into the batteries would come from either the user's own renewable energy sources or from the grid at times of excess like windy nights or very sunny days. Within industry, what kind of tasks would these be relevant for? So we're pretty talking about anything making food or beverages, so brewing, distilling, you know, making baked beans. Everything needs heat and it normally gets used in the form of steam. We would go in and we would help them fit a very large solar farm or next to their site, could be an adjacent field, and we can then allow them to take all of that energy and either use it for electricity or heat. They don't have to export anything. Everything is self-consumed, and we can take really, really large chunks out of their energy demand in a very short period of time. How important do you think these could be in our, in our low energy future? I think we have a huge role to play in decarbonising uh, a large section of industry around heat. Um, it's, it's roughly the same energy as, I guess, of taking 40% of the cars off the road. There's such potential because half of all energy is used for heat and half of that by industry. And heat batteries are relatively cheap. Here they reckon they can store a unit of energy for one third the price of electric batteries, partly because ingredients and construction are quite simple. Grab your tongs and let's do it. Okay. Even I can have a go. Uh, so we've got the stones and they've, they've been They've had a nice heat soak of 600 degrees for quite a while. This is the interesting bit now. If you could grab the very end of that tray, and once you've got it in your hand, if you can take it to the table over there, molten aluminium. Into the stones? Yep, onto the stones via the spout. Kind of evenly if you can. Whoa, that is so cool. This molten aluminium came from recycled car engines. And here is the block I made earlier. Not quite as even as the one the professionals make. Talk me through how you make this in an actual battery, because I know your batteries are, are a lot bigger than one of these. They are a lot bigger than one of those. So to get the heat in, we use a heater element, kind of like this one, and that's exactly the same as you'd find in your kettle. OK, so that, that just got electricity going in, heats up like in a kettle or an immersion heater or something. Exactly like that. We then hold the energy in your thermal block, which you made, still warm but much bigger than this but much it? bigger than this think a significant size right and then we take the heat out using a coil and that's kind of like you'd find on the back of your refrigerator this isn't the only heat storage technology under development for instance this company thinks storing heat in vast tubs of sand is the way forward so how does energy storage especially heat storage fit into our national energy picture even now, we've got periods like here, wind is producing more than half of the country's electricity, and the power price on the system is negative. So if you can consume electricity, you actually get paid for doing it. Really? Minus 88 uh, Mi yeah, minus per megawatt hour means if I consumed a megawatt, I'd get paid 88 pounds to Absolutely. Do it. If you could charge up your battery and it was 1,000 megawatt hours of storage, you could get 88 grand for doing that. Heat storage is really different. You can store energy for days, for weeks, even for months. So you can start to shift energy from times of excess in the summer or when a big winter storm is passing through to the times when we don't have enough. Storing renewable power in powerful, affordable electric batteries has proven a vital first step in decarbonising energy. Storing heat is step two. Tom Heap, Sky News in Hampshire.